Happening now, in the last month, one of the largest labs in Texas has seen a new chemical in illicit pills popping up at rave parties. Fox Antonio's Yami Virgen goes on the front lines with the DEA to tell us how the new chemical can prove deadly. This is the vault of the Houston Forensic Lab, one of the largest in the country, and one that receives its share of fake pills laced with fentanyl many times intended for sale to young people at rave parties. It can be in the form of X, aka ecstasy, or fake prescription pills cut down with fentanyl. The young adults will go to those, and they're going there to have a good time, right? Kind of like that disassociation um, that we talk about. You want to feel good. Right, so you go there to listen to some great music, dance with people, you know, don't even need to know them or not, but it's a fun time. And at most of these rave parties, there's going to be someone dealing. At the Houston Forensic Lab, they say they almost exclusively see ecstasy tablets that contain meth. Most of them are mixed with caffeine. They have a high dose of caffeine, but they also have methamphetamine. And that's one of the things that a lot of the people who take these tablets would be shocked to hear. They're like, no, I take X. No, actually, you take meth. And they don't understand that that's what is being put into these tablets when they're being pressed. A thousand pills all look identical. Every one of them's got something else in them. And you have the foggiest idea what's in these things. No way to know. And that includes meth. But even more frightening is the new chemical they've seen in the last month. We did some testing of these type of ecstasy tablets. And yes, we saw methamphetamine in it, but we also saw fentanyl in it. And that was the first time we actually identified ecstasy tablets as having both meth and fentanyl. And that was very alarming to us because we had to do a full range of testing to be able to know that that's what was in these tablets. The DEA is chasing the source of these pills that are laced with deadly fentanyl, which is not coming from a lab in China. Fentanyl is more often now being cooked by someone in a clandestine lab in Mexico without exact measurements. It's kind of like grandma teaching you how to cook. And you're like, well, how much of this do I put in? I don't ever measure it. I just know when it's right. That's the way that people are making the drugs that they're selling on the streets. They're just like, well, this is what I've got, so I'm going to put it in this tablet, and I'm going to press it, and then I'm going to sell it. If my tablet doesn't come from Walgreens or CVS, I'm not taking it. They tell us at the Houston Forensic Lab that every time a new report comes across their desk for review that says fentanyl, a chill runs up their back, wondering if someone overdosed on this one, or will they on the next batch. In your neighborhoods on the streets, Fox and Antonio and the DEA will keep you informed and safe. Jamie Virgen, Fox News at 9.